Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got something, I, I think, if I'm correct about the contents of this box, I've got something really, really wild to share with you guys. I am confused about the size of it, though, unless they sent more than what they said they were going to. Anyways, thanks so much to the folks who sent this in. Very excited to get it out and take a look at it. Any and all information, I will link down in the description. Obviously, if this is not what I think it is, you know, maybe it's available. If it is what I think it is, I don't think it's available yet. But if I can find information on it, I will link it down in the description. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please, make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, I am just dying to get into this. It's, it's uh, This came in a little bit late in the day after I was done recording yesterday. I'm making some cuts off camera because there's a little bit of private information on the front. Um, but uh, it came in a, a little late yesterday, which is outside of the normal time that I record. And you know, at that time, there's, it's just, there's no time to continue recording. So that means the box just has to sit there until the next day. <laughs> and uh, so it's been uh, it's been a little difficult. I was I've been pretty tempted by it. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. Sorry, uh, there's there were two in there, and I realized one needs to be saved for another video. This is the one that I wanted to showcase here, and you'll understand here in just a moment exactly why I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm focusing specifically on this for this video. So um, I went ahead and took the outer plastic off. Um, but, uh, I see, I've only seen pictures of this and this, this aesthetic really, truly makes me think future, right? <laughs> okay. So this is called the Cybertrix. Cybertrix. Yeah. Which sounds a little intense, almost corny intense, right? However, oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. There's so many layers. <laughs> wow. What on earth, man. <laughs> this is so wild. I did not realize it was a recessed liner. M390 Cybertrix. Look at that pocket clip. It's crazy. Man, this entire thing is so retro future, I think is the best way to put it. <laughs> oh, man. I love this. I absolutely love this. This is so weird. It's so weird. Honestly, this feels like uh, some somebody created like some sort of odd like polygonal something or other in a video game and I reached in and pulled it out <laughs> like some unfinished uh 3d structure man that is that is so bizarre I I, I love the lines of this the, the design the aesthetic desi design of this is just the one of the strangest things I've ever seen um but you know what it works I I just it's so funny how just changing lines on titanium can result like, like changing a few specific straight lines can result in something that looks like it doesn't belong on this planet. Like, like it, it looks like it, this specifically has a home in the, the, in like cyberspace, you know, um, look at the, the blade here. So they, they gave me an option of two different blades and this was, I, in my opinion, this was the less wild version. Um, it, it is, it does still have a, a change in the angle of the blade. It's right here. Um, the, the people at Reich are mad scientists. Like, I mean, this, what's crazy is, is that here recently, this is one of many things that I have seen that they're working on that are, it's just completely and totally off the wall different. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's the liner in there. All this is just completely straight. Um, and then we have this is so weird. I I'm gonna guess they got that weird mechanism back there, and that's how you take it apart. I'm almost certain because you guys have probably noticed here. 
Uh, there are no screws anywhere, which is absolutely contributing to the overall aesthetic. Um, and <laughs> these like little like the door handles, the the way that you deploy it up here. Um, but yeah, there are absolutely no screw holes, and I, I would imagine that this is a lot like the Lamella. Um, so the way that you take it apart is by sticking something in back here and maneuvering, or maybe I'm wrong. And the way that you do it is you, I'm getting flashbacks. Cause if you guys don't know, when I took apart the lamella, I, it was my fault. It's not that the, the mechanisms, you know, bad. I mean, it's, it was a little bit dangerous to get into, but I slipped and I ended up having to get stitches on this thumb and I actually still have there's a little bit of a scar right there <laughs> from the lamella. So I'm going to guess that this has some similar thing to it. Um, but yeah, the way it's all held together at the moment is is currently unknown to me. That pocket clip is absolutely ridiculous, the length of it. <laughs> it's just really long. I, I, I uh, This is just as wild in person as I assumed that it was going to be when I saw pictures of it. And, you know, truthfully, um, I'll be honest with you guys. Had they not offered to send one, I, I would have I would have gone ahead and bought it. This is a this is a knife that I would have dedicated a you know a certain amount of the channel's budget to um, to get my hands on because I've just never seen anything exactly like this. Um, I, I love that we've you know oh, there's there's always whenever you see stuff like this there's always people who say but why right why even make what you know and it's just it's such a an incredibly stupid question. <laughs> I mean, there's a, there's a message from me to the people who ask that. That is a stupid, stupid thing to, uh, to ask. Um, number one, I mean, it's, it's, it's inevitable, right? Uh, with or without the questioning why, it's simply going to happen, right? Number two, um, because, because if we didn't have things like this, if, if companies didn't push the boundaries of what's, you know, normal as far as aesthetics or construction, right? Even if they go beyond those boundaries only in the form of aesthetics, only in the form of non-functional elements, if they didn't do that, everything would be boring. Everything. We would be stuck with the buck 110. Imagine that universe for a moment, folks. That's why. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, companies like Reich, for doing this, because that is a universe that no one wants to live in. Maybe one or two bills, uh, a couple of spaghetti wizards, right? Outside of that, no, I like this one. Whoops. Reich, you're going to kill me with these things. <laughs> it's actually pretty easy to manipulate. Um, despite there being not... This is crazy. There's like absolutely no... Oh, that's raised slightly above. I see. I was like, how am I getting in there? trying to see if there's any parts of this that I want to show you. I'm just, I'm, I'm afraid that if I push this button, you know, a missile launcher or something's going to fly out of it. Um, this is crazy. Really cool. Expect a full comprehensive review. Uh, this is not a review. This is just uh, me unboxing it and taking a look at it, sharing my personal thoughts or my initial thoughts. Please. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex if you enjoyed this video. Leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.